Hello and welcome to the Open Neuro webinar. My name is Franklin Feingold and I am the Open Neuro product manager. So now to get started, what is Open Neuro? So Open Neuro is a free platform for storing and sharing neuroimaging data. We are an official NIH brain initiative repository for mostly human imaging data, though we also support the sharing of non-human human imaging data like mouse data. We are a repository of validated bids or brain imaging data structure data sets, and there is a badge on each data set to represent this. And we share open neuro data sets using a CC0 license, so there are no usage agreements required. So now what are the benefits of using open neuro? We have a streamlined and robust upload process that I will go a little bit later in this webinar. We perform an automatic bids validation before uploading begins. We have data set versioning with DOIs, so each data set version gets its own unique DOI. We support the analyses of open neuro data with brainlife.io. Brainlife.io is an independent platform from the Franco Pastelli Lab at Indiana University. We are also looking to partner with other high performance computing centers to do large scale analyses. We support multiple download options. These options are through the web browser, the AWS S3, Open Neuro CLI, and Datalad. So now to begin, let's get started with logging in. So now navigating to the Open Neuro landing page, we see in the top right hand corner the sign in button. So upon clicking that button, we are, we are navigated to the options to sign in. We support signing in through Google or through ORCID. And here I would like to make a note that public data can be accessed and downloaded without logging in, though one does need to be signed in to upload data. So now I'll show you how to upload a data set onto Open Neuro. So now navigating back to the Open Neuro main page, we see in the top right hand corner there once one has signed in, there is an option to upload a data set. So now clicking that button takes us to the upload process and it starts with selecting the bids data set. And we see that the next step is validation, though one can independently validate their data set at the link below. So now upon selecting your bids data set, the validation will run. And we see that in this example, there is an error in the data set. To troubleshoot through this, through this error, we have provided a description of what the error is. So now once the error has been corrected, we can select the folder again and run the validation again. And we see that the error has been fixed. We see that there are warnings for this data set, so warnings are not required to fix, but they will help make your, your data set more bids compliant. So now continuing on in the upload process, we see there is a metadata form. This, this metadata form will capture information about your data set. So this, this can be in the form of DOIs that are from already published papers, that are associated with this data set or what domain was studied, like in this example was reliability. So now continuing on is accepting our terms of use. The first paragraph we see here is more, more closely related to HIPAA information. Uh, in addition to our terms of use, we, we ask that you destroy any type of linking subject codes or linking subject information and to follow local regulations for sharing. So once those have been accepted, the, the data set will begin uploading and we have a, a progress bar showing it here. Once the upload has completed, it will navigate you to your own data set landing page. So now this data set landing page we see here has the, the validator summary information. On the right side, we have the bids validation badge with the data, the data set file tree below and the data set versions on the left side and what day that they were created. On the top bar, uh, starting from the left at the world is making this data set public. Then to the right of that is to delete the data set, 
then one can share this data set with collaborators. Uh, one can take a snapshot or create a new version of the data set. Uh, one can follow or star the data set as well. Now to create, now to make this a public data set, one can click on this publish this data set button and it will take you to the publish data set option. And again, this data set will be released under a CC0 license. So now one can click publish and we see that the banner has now turned green that, that yes, this data set has been published and is now publicly available. Now, in addition to doing it through the web browser, we also have a command line interface tool. And we have provided a brief video of how this process can be done. So once one has gotten the Open Neuro package, one can log into Open Neuro with Open Neuro login and choosing the Open Neuro instance, so openneuro.org. And now one needs to generate an API key. So this can be generated from copying this URL highlighted there and paste, pasting it into your web browser. And now generate new API key. Now one can copy that to their key. And you can now paste it into the terminal. And now one is logged into Open Neuro. So now, now one can upload data onto Open Neuro. And we can do this by Open Neuro upload and my bidster. One will be asked if they would like to create a new data set. So yes. And we see here that the validator was run, run and it found a warning. So again, Warnings are not required to fix, though they will make your data set more bids compliant. So now, a, now to get by this warning, you can do again open narrow upload, though now adding the dash I flag and my bidster. And yes, a new data set will be created. And now the request is being processed via the server. Now I will also mention here that the, the Open Arrow CLI can, can also be used to edit or upload more data to your, to your already existing data set. And this information can be found on the uh, cli.openarrow.org page. So this request will take approximately 30 to 40 seconds to complete, and then you will start seeing the process of this upload uh, begin to populate the terminal. And we see that population happening here with what, what the file is and how much percent it, percent it has completed. And now that's how you can upload data via the command line interface tool. So now how do we navigate Open Neuro? So back on the Open Neuro main page, uh, we can browse all the public data sets by clicking browse all public data sets or by clicking public dashboard in the top bar. And again, this will take us to all the public data sets that are available on Open Neuro and we can click a data set here. So correcting false memories. And we see that this data set landing page is very similar to the one that we saw previously when you had open, uploaded a Open Neuro data set. And I would like to draw our attention to one feature of this data set, and it is where to find the metadata information. This could be found here. And again, th th this information best describes the data set. So such as we now know that this is a human cross-sectional study looking at memory on healthy slash controls. So in, in addition to the individual data set level, we have also cataloged all the metadata information of all op public open neuro data sets. And these fields are very similar to the ones captured in the metadata form. We also have a My Dashboard option. 
And my dashboard represents all data that either the user has uploaded or the user has been shared a data set with. At the bottom of each data set landing page, we have a comment section. And this, this comment section can fa facilitate questions that a user may have and another user may help answer that question or the data set owner will be able to directly talk to the user. Now in, in this example, a user was curious where the DSM di diagnoses were and then I was able to point them to that particular file and, and facilitate that interaction. So now how does one download data off of OpenNeuro? Now navigating back to our correcting false memories data set, we can click on the download button and this will take us to all the download options one, one can do to get open neuro data. And again, these options are through the web browser, through AWS S3, through the open neuro command line interface tool or with data lad. So now how does one analyze open neuro data? So again, we have a partnership with BrainLife.io. BrainLife.io is a independent platform from the Franco Pastelli Lab at Indiana University. They are a free computing analysis platform using national computing resources. And it is easy to use open neuro data on their platform. And we are in the process of continuing to scale up this partnership. So on many open neuro data sets, we have this analyze on BrainLife.io button. So upon clicking that button, will direct us to the brainlife.io platform. And there is documentation available to provide information to the user of how to use their platform. To navigate to open neuro data on our platform, we can click the archive button represented with the arrow. And this, this shows all the imaging files available through, through this data set. Now to process one of these files, you can click it and we can begin to start staging the processing. If you have further questions of, of how to use BrainLife, I invite you to watch their Analyze Data on BrainLife video. So now what are the support channels offered by OpenNeuro? One support channel that we strongly recommend is using Neurostars. Neurostars is hosted by the INCF, which is the International Neuroinformatics Coordinating Facility. And this is a public forum. So we, we recommend it because it, it is public and this will continue to add uh, knowledge to our knowledge base. In addition to Neurostars, we also have a in-platform support capability and that's through our support button. We ask that really only private data or private information be sent through this support. And this is an example of our support ticket. So now what are the future directions of Open Neuro? So again, we are looking to partner with uh, high performance computing centers for analyses to do more of the large scale analyses and to be able to host derivative data sets and link back to the original data set. We would like to provide MRI QC and fMRI outputs on open neuro data sets. Uh, we are going to be enhancing the data set search functionality in platform, uh, providing a seamless bids converter from DICOM and unstructured NIFTY organization. We, we would like to display QC metrics for all open neuro data sets. In addition, we would like to extend into more modalities and, and data types, though this is constrained by, by BIDS, so BIDS, the brain imaging data structure. And as BIDS advances and as BIDS supports more modalities and data types, Open Neuro will be able to support more modalities and data types. Uh, a few that, that, are being, that are close to being integrated into BIDS is PET, ASL, genetic information, and derivatives. So now one last thing. If, if you have su su suggestions for new features or improvements to Open Neuro, this is the place to post them. And it is on openneuro.featureupvote.com. 
So now I'd like to take a few minutes to acknowledge Russ and Chris G that's at Google, Chris M, our commercial partner, partners in Squishy Media, our collaborators of Yarick at Data Lad, Franco and Suichi at brainlife.io, and our very generous funders. Now, thank you for all your time and attention for tuning into the Open Neuro webinar. Thank you. <laughs>